welcome back to my film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. And we've got a murder mystery film for you today, directed by Stephen Schimek. Yes, so you're familiar with that young man. We're going to have a look at something called Invitation to a Murder, uh, released as An Invitation to Murder in the UK. Well, what difference that makes? I have no idea. We're going to have a look at that today. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything. Film and TV, of course, great to have you on board. Uh, spread the word. I've got a little, little uh, on the channel as well. I do vlogs on my football team, Manchester City. So if you know anyone who might be interested in that, give them a kick in my direction. I'd be very, very grateful. And uh, yeah, let me know your comments, any views on this film, or anything to do with film and TV. And uh, I will respond or give you a thumbs up, which I hope you give this vlog as well, guys. If you can, give this a little like. It would be appreciated. Right, yes, 90 minutes, which is fine. I like a nice 90 minute film. And a PG 13, this is classed as. Stars Misha Barton as the main protagonist, the amateur sleuth, if you like, Miranda Green. We've got Chris Brown in Seamus Diva, Bianca A. Santos, Giles Matty, Grace Lynn Kung, James Urbaniak, Amy Sloan, and Alex Hyde White. Yes, nice to see Alex Hyde White. I've not seen him for a while. What's the setup for this? Well, the actual setup is Miranda Green is a florist, yes, with a passion for mystery novels, particularly those by Agatha Christie. The arrival of a mysterious invitation from Lord Finlay to visit his mansion on a reclusive island immediately catches her attention. On the train, Miranda makes acquaintance of the other five guests, which is all nice, so we get to know them quite easy and early. Donald Walker, an American journalist, Lawrence Kane, Esquire, Dr Armstrong, Carmen Bianco and Lou Wang. Welcoming the guests are three members of Lord Finlay's staff, yeah, miserable buggers, who is apparently stranded due to bad weather, and only join them by plane the next day. It's a very, very familiar storyline, this. I just think it's just a rip off of other things, isn't it? As the hours go by, the guests become increasingly tense because of the unusual situation they find themselves in. Not only they do not know each other, but they have never even heard of Lord Finlay. Yeah, well, you would turn up, wouldn't you, if someone you've never heard of? Nor do they know the reason why they're invited to the island. There you go. So that's the setup. Very basic. Uh, all been done before. Of course it has. So what do we get? That's the thing. Well, these are the scores are at Boxing Day, 26th of December, 2023, uh, 9 a.m. UK time. Rotten Tomatoes audience, no breakdown of this, but 40%. Just 40% for this. No, no Rotten Tomatoes critics have even bothered to watch this. Perhaps they can't be bothered. I'm not too sure. Joe Public Internet Movie Database, well, a bit higher, uh, but not to that wonderful 6 out of 10 we like to see. Internet Movie Database, 5.1 out of 10. That's based on almost 3,500 scores and reviews, so not great. So my thoughts on this, guys, before we wrap this up. I mean, these sort of whodunics have uh, been dime a dozen, certainly in the UK, for many, many years more years than I can count uh, probably more years than I've been alive and there were some decent half decent ones as films as well of course uh, US based and the odd UK one can think of many uh, that have, have done okay done okay but uh, this has an afternoon BBC watch if you know where I'm coming from a very familiar feel and story which sort of makes it all a little bit boring really there's nothing that interesting or scary or dark really added and you've got some some rabbits added to the mix to you know that cause screams etc it's, it's, it's nothing real I mean Misha Barton is likeable enough I do like uh, Leisha Barton as our amateur sleuth and it was set up for perhaps of course as you get to the end of this you get a, a feel that it's going to be a series or at least a sequel which uh, may be more interesting to watch as a as a you know with Misha's character with a better script but uh, sadly not this one and as for the other characters all, all very bland and un, uninteresting no real humor in it that I, I sort of picked up upon i'm sure there was a little bit but silly didn't make uh, have any effects on me it's all a bit uh weaker pale at madame blanc if, you, if you've watched that uk tv series that sets that's set in france uh without the sort of bits of humor and then uh, yeah feel good factor at times so it's all a bit that it's all a bit a tamer version, not not nearly as good. I mean, if, if Misha's character goes across to France and joins up with the the character in that, fine, that'd be okay. I think Barton will make makes this at least worthy of me giving it a score because I did I did enjoy her performance overall, and there was little bits of it that were okay, but it's throwaway stuff, and it's as I said it's been done. 
far better in the past. If it was Rotten Tomatoes, I'd have to be rotten on this. If it was Metacritic, I'd be, I'd be mixed because it's not. It's almost a disaster, but not quite. And just for Barton's presence in this, I'm going to give it my lowest score I give. Once you know, before I don't give it any score at all, which is five out of ten. So it'll be great to hear what you think, guys. Let me know what you thought of this. And uh, as I say, it's been done many, many times. It's enough, nothing new to see here, which is it's a shame, really, because a little bit, looks as though a little bit of effort went into it. Let me know your thoughts. Great to hear from you. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.